Hi Scorpio, it's Elle here to do your mid-June reading. Now I know it's late, but I apologize guys. Uh, it's the summertime, so you know how that goes. Anyway, I've got the cards laid out for us. Let's get started. Um, so we have, for love, we have past, present, future, and then we have our career and finance. Two additional cards wanted to come out for career and finance. And then we have our additional support cards, the butterfly oracle cards. So let's get started. The past in love, the high priestess in reverse. I don't even read reversals. Hmm, I'll take it. Some of you in the past were not listening to your intuition and or secrets, lies, secret plans, secret things you were hiding, things you were doing in secret came out, came to light. Uh, some of you, some of you need to get in balance of what you're learning about life, spirituality, creation. You need to balance that with real life and, and living and, and letting live. Some of you are, you have the potential of being the high priestess upright, but you're in the reverse because you haven't found that balance yet. It's like almost information overload and you haven't um, kind of set with the information, found the middle ground and found balance there. That's for some of you. That's that definitely specific to, you know, only a few of you. Some of you just not listening to your intuition. Secrets and lies came out. Some of you don't know what to do with, with all this information that came out. Some of you could be dealing with an Aquarius. Six of Cups. Yeah. Definitely. Some of you feel like. I should have known this stuff. I wasn't taught all of this that I was learning in my past. In childhood. I feel like I'm being taught and schooled all over. Some of you are dealing with a person from your past who you you know just you probably shouldn't be dealing with. At the bottom of the deck up for the love spread is the King of Wands. Aries, Sagittarius, Leo. It's typically Leo. Could be sometimes Sagittarius. And a mature Sagittarius. I say mature in the in the sense of um age like they're older 32 and up or 30 ish and up all right presently we have the the hermit in reverse wow the devil in reverse guys i don't even i don't reverse my card so because i don't need to read reversals um some of you are coming out of, like, yeah, you're, you're coming out of that spiritual journey, being that high priestess, learning, keeping the secrets, um, having the secrets of the universe, or learning them, and, and uh, learning about the esoteric and, and holding that. You're coming out of that spiritual journey that you're on or were on. Some of you have let go of the fears. Hmm. Okay, so all right, I'm gonna say it. the fears of your of um expressing your sexuality. The devil in reverse, you you're no longer feeling bound and trapped to um what was the status quo or what was expected of you some of you are definitely expressing your sexuality some of you coming out of a toxic situation just addiction fears it no longer holds you you've conquered it Or you're trying to conquer it. Some of you could be dealing with the Capricorn or Virgo. 
present uh future four of cups upright three of wands upright all right four of cups yeah it looks like you're not taking two in advance maybe from another cancer pisces scorpio and you're you're choosing to leave behind something that was established it could be a relationship a partnership anything a, a job this is love friends family you're leaving whatever was whatever was this upright you're leaving that behind because you've conquered it in the reverse toxic marriage love restriction on how you really felt about yourself some of you are just bored and content with just still mulling over maybe a situation that just doesn't really serve you but not looking up and seeing hey there is a way out there's a cup you can choose the universe is opening a portal a door for you to go through it you know go this way not this way some of you are doing that just that leaving behind the old establishment choosing that new wand hand is on that new wand this is heavy Scorpio All right, career and finance. Once again, at the bottom of the deck, the king of wands or the king of clubs. You got to get the same king twice in two separate decks. Um, some of you are just really taking action. So the king of wands affirmation is, I want. So some of you are going after your, your wants, your desires, what fulfills you on that level. I think something for a long time wasn't fulfilling you. You're walking away. career and finance four of cups again four of hearts this is yeah this is change of journey change of home some of you are changing your journey in in respects to uh your career your finances six of swords um you're making uh small achievements over your burdens you know getting it getting things in line getting yourself in line could be dealing with an air sign could be yeah just you know something was uh burdening you and now you're moving away from that ace of hearts nice new love new friendship this could be self-love also this could be filled being filled with spirit hmm. spirituality and maybe that's what you're moving towards for career and finance. Some of you could be light workers or energy workers. All right, two cards that came out that um, weren't supposed to. I was only going to take three cards. It's ten of spades or ten of swords and the three of swords. So divorce, separation the need to practice caution in a relationship whatever type of relationship um due to infidelity this is a complete ending the ten of spades um feeling blindsided backstabbed betrayed can no longer put any more mental energy into this situation it has reached its the, the pinnacle of of hurt, of pain, of suffering. It has to end. Could be dealing with an air sign. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Fire, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo. You could be walking away from an established relationship, career, because I think some of you are really getting in tune with yourself aligning with something that suits you better for something you love to do but trying to make it a career for you this is the entrepreneur trying to make it a make it work for you 
Okay, healing from the past it's at the bottom of the deck for and for the butterfly oracle cards. Healing from the past, pretty self-explanatory. Healing from the recent past. We got the six of cups here, also. Yeah. Um. The recent past or the past past when you're a child. But healing needs to take place, especially after you're coming out of the spiritual journey, being on that spiritual growth. Um, let's see. Moving. And then, then we have change of journey, change of home. Some of you are actually moving out of a relationship, moving out of a home, moving away from an old job that just doesn't or career that doesn't. Uh, suit you you're moving move whatever that means to you that's what it means to you hobbies I really feel like some of you are trying to turn uh, what is a hobby into a way of making money a way of life for you a um, way of uh, earning income and it, and it fulfills you on an emotional level do what you love because then everything else will follow. If you, what I've learned, um, you don't have to take any of this. Uh, when you're chasing after money, when money is the motivation, then that's what you'll be doing for the rest of your life. You'll be chasing after money. To chase after something, meaning that it's running away from you, it's fleeting you. It's always, it's always there, and you're here. So. Do what you love. Get aligned and on your right spiritual path. And money won't, you won't have to chase money. Money will find you because you're right where you need to be. Right? Hobby. So, yeah, either you need to engage in a hobby or some of you are really trying to turn a hobby into sufficient self employment. And it can happen. I'm praying for you. It's a beautiful thing. All right. You are stronger than you know. Yes, you have conquered. You're trying to conquer this devil energy. And, and it looks like you, you get into a place where you are. You're stronger than you know. Some of you are walking away from old careers, old ways of making money, of doing things, relationships. Because of that self-love and, and knowing what fulfills you. Uh, on an emotional level, knowing something you can do every single day, even if you had to, you weren't getting paid for it, you could do it. All right, so I'm gonna finish this up over at Patreon, guys. Pull a few clarifying cards to see where we are. Uh, thank you for tuning in. Thank you to those who like, share, comment, subscribe. If you cannot request a personal reading, but you want to support the channel, like, click that like button now. Um, subscribe to the channel uh, do what's free you know if, if money is not what you can um, afford to give or contribute do what's free clicking the like button subscribing to the channel is always free uh, and it's it, it can be reversed if you ever feel like you want to back out you can do that too <laughs> anyhow uh, thank you guys for um, coming back all right and i hope this helps somebody out this is really 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 heavy for someone uh beautiful but definitely heavy um yeah 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 uh follow me on instagram you can ask a question or two there go over to my website to row of l.com request a personal reading book it uh the calendar does not matter you can choose what Ever date you want your reading will come to you in four business days business days exclude Saturday and Sunday so you can book your reading for let's say next Wednesday um, I'm, if next Wednesday is four business days then that's when your reading will come but it's for a business days from paying for and booking your reading the calendar does not matter you will receive an email that says exactly that the calendar date does not matter the calendar date does not matter i just i had to shut the website down because 
it was overwhelming. It's a good overwhelming because I'm so happy I was able to help people, but my God, overwhelming. Anyway, thank you guys once again. Come on, let's uh, let's go over to Patreon and figure this thing out, pull some cards. I think it's like a dollar, maybe. It's whatever you want to pledge. It's not a lot of money. It's not like um, others I've seen um, where you, you know, read it maybe $10, $20, you know, no, no, no. Anyway, head on over there. The, all the information you need to head over there to Patreon is below. Uh, thanks once again. Uh, remember, when in doubt, pray. I'm praying for you. Pray for me as well.